Since I was fifteen years of age, uh, I've been <laughs> wanting to go to World Cup football and uh, since then, I've always been kind of kept in touch with uh, the World Cup events, the soccer World Cup or the football World Cup events. The last time when it was in Brazil, I even had the tickets but uh, did not make it because I think the finals or semi-finals was on the same day as Guru Purnima and I could not make it. This time it looks like everything arranged itself and uh, the necessary arrangements were made. Our friends in Russia are taking care of everything for tickets and everything else. And here I am, yesterday I watched the first semi-final. Uh, <laughs> It's over forty-five years I've been thinking of making this and here I am, so I took my time. And the game between France and Belgium, hmm, I think these two were probably the strongest teams which have made to the semi-finals and uh, strategically very different from each other. And of course, French managed that single goal which sends them to the final. And today we are traveling from St. Petersburg uh, back to Moscow for the second game between England and Croatia. Probably nobody expected England and Croatia to get to the semi-finals, but here they are. This is a Russian Raleigh <laughs> So all those big reputation teams like Brazil, Argentina, Germany um, are all gone. Spain is gone. So, this is something that uh, everybody has to understand. You don't win anything uh, on your reputation. Reputations don't win. Reputations or past records or past history <laughs> to win a game, to make anything happen right now, it is how incisively we act right now. And uh, definitely the French have shown a certain speed and skill and strategy, which uh, others have not been able to match. Great players like Lionel Messi, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo and Neymar Jr., Salah, all have fallen by the wayside. I think these are all club players who have tremendous uh, support in the teams for which they play for and also in the club games. It is a very professional approach and uh, the national teams are not as professional, far more emotional and also could be more injury prone when you play with these kind of players. So that also I think is holding back the stars from really giving themselves the fear of uh, injury because uh, <laughs> their legs are worth in hundreds of millions of dollars. So on the whole, the atmosphere at the World Cup semi-finals is electric, to say the least. And uh, we have to congratulate Russia as a nation because the level of organization and the way they have trained these thousands of volunteers who are across the city guiding guests from other countries with a big smile on their face and very beautifully organized, everything in absolute control and... Uh, the, the more effervescent or violent fans also kept in check so that everybody can enjoy the games. I think it's a phenomenal success for Russia to be able to pull off these games and this level of organization and efficiency that they're showing is truly fantastic. Today I'm off to Moscow to watch uh, England and Croatia fight it out for the finals. Uh, how shall I say this? The reason why uh, the entire world sits up and watches World Cup football is uh, the intensity of involvement that people are playing a game, just kicking a ball around, but with such skill and such involvement, like it's the last thing they're going to do in their life. <laughs> That's the level of involvement and now it makes half the world sit up and watch this. I think India if we focus on this, when a country like Iceland can come to World Cup, I think India has to make it, if not the next one in Qatar, uh, we should make it 
for the 2026 event in United States and they're also expanding the number of teams from 32 to 48. So, there is a good chance for India to make it. I request the government and the authority, the sports authority, uh, rather than trying to develop talent across the country with uh, 1.3 billion people, even focusing on one city where our populations are well over uh, a few millions, very easily picking up boys at the right age, I think with a good coach and exposure, we could build a team which will go to the World Cup. Winning a World Cup may be still far away, but at least we can enter the 48 nation group to play uh, at least the league matches in uh, World Cup. I think it is very much doable with over a billion people and being such a youthful nation, we have to be at the next 2026 uh, World Cup. I'm sure that India will make it to that tournament. And now it's time to leave for Moscow and uh, an hour and a half flight and then the match in the evening. <laughs> it's been a very long time that I had uh, four or five days like this off doing something of this sort. In between there are a few meetings and interviews, of course, but that's okay. Largely, this time, these four days are dedicated to the games, so wonderful to be here in Russia. The weather is great and the atmosphere is great and tremendous hospitality in the country here. So, congratulations and thank you for the Russian government and the people, the generosity and the liveliness with which they are welcoming the guests and doing what they're doing here. This has been great.